This is a perfect example of professing to be wise, but they become fools. Take a look. Then why do you not believe in the resurrection of Christ? Because it's, I don't believe in the supernatural. It's fantastic. It doesn't seem possible. Yeah, that's not historical. That's a philosophical presupposition. Because you don't believe there's a supernatural God, therefore you believe miracles are impossible. Therefore the, the resurrection could not take place. That's not honest history. That's a philosophy of naturalism that limits all of reality to matter and energy. Exactly. Which well, why would you adopt that philosophy and, and major in religion? Because, as you said, Christ has impacted this world in ways we cannot imagine. So even though I might not believe in Christ or believe in the book that you are touting, I still can see the impact on the people around me. This very discussion shows that there's something more important than a figure who may or may not have lived 2,000 years ago. I can still see the impact. I can still see how that affects our environmental policy. Okay, good. So you're into a sociological study of a phenomenon called Christianity. But if you're honest with yourself, you've got to acknowledge that Christianity is not a sociological phenomenon based on a feeling. It's a sociological phenomenon based on an historical claim that Jesus lived, taught, died, and rose from the dead. We know for a fact, Jesus was a real historical person. He is who he claimed to be. He taught amazing ethical teaching like the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 5, 6, and 7. And most importantly, he died and rose from the dead on the third day. Put your faith in him. May God bless you.